Sam, Yo. I thought of you this week. My, uh, my wife and I got away. We won an Airbnb at a raffle. Nice, nice. And it was, and the raffle. Um, actually, I, yeah, I saw Ada and MJ at that 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 event. I finally kicked it, cashed in that Airbnb I won at that raffle. Nice. And nice. it was at a hippie commune. <laughs> what are you trying in, to say? <laughs> in Orgonia, Ohio. Nice. So nice. like, right? It's like, what was it? The one, one Earth. Okay. Collaborative. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know of these. I folks. do know of those. Folks, okay, yes. well, that's where I was, and I nice. I, I crashed at the house, which was beautiful, actually. Right? But, but it was so weird. <laughs> like, so, like, you know, you're walking around, and they are actively growing pot all around right? you. And, and you're just like, oh, I'm in Wonderland right now. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. My, and my wife, being wor- my wife working for the government, is like, don't let me drink anything right. that you didn't bring. <laughs> <laughs> don't take the brown acid. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I mean, I'll take psychedelics all day long. It's all good. Let's let's have that conversation because what? not only no. not only is it a beautiful experience, but it is soul enhancing and it will force you to face your demons in ways that you would never even believe possible. And now they're using ketamine therapy for PTSD and depression and all of this. They're using um, uh, microdosing of cybacillin. And like these are all God-given elements. And yes, we can have that conversation because I will get on a soapbox if I don't stop myself now. So, <laughs> speaking of soapboxes... This is like literally brand, brand, brand new shit because when Joy was talking, it struck that poetic chord in my head. And so this is probably unfinished shit, but absolutely like 15 minutes fresh shit. So, (laughs) right? Right? I don't even think I've wiped yet. So, hey, (laughs) they call me the dirty hippie. (laughs) One man had a dream and he was assassinated and turned into a holiday. But what did his dream actually say? One nation was stolen and its inhabitants slaughtered and turned into a holiday. But what happened to the peace that was promised? One group of people fought for their civil rights and they are still being slaughtered in the nightclubs, in the schools, in the streets. But did you hear what Bob Marley had to say? How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Yeah, some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. But for those of us that will not stand aside, it's time to rise. For those of us that will not allow this book to be fulfilled, it's time to rise. Thank you. Keep it going for Sam and give a round of applause to everybody that read tonight.